Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Delivery complete. Displaying performance evaluation. Listen to me, damn it. I need your help. Well, we don't need yours, Bridges. You're only making things worse. Sorry you had to deal with that, Sam. She's the boss over there, and she's not afraid to lay down the law. We need her, and we need her people. We've lost too many others as it is. Without Mountain Knot City, the Cairo Network and the UCA will never be complete. What now? So, here's the thing. Sam, Lachna is Mama's twin sister. Former Bridges One. Went west with the others. Second group, just like Mama. Mama's not her real name, of course. That'd be Malingan. Both have dooms and both are scientific geniuses. Mama's primary field of expertise is applied physics. Lachna's is theoretical. Mama designed the Cupid hardware. Lachna, the software. They said they could converse over any distance. Said they had a special bond that let them. I don't know how that's possible, but I'll tell you this. There wouldn't be a chiral network without them. They were so close that some said they were like one person in two bodies. Might be why they were able to develop the Cupid. But they had a falling out after Molingan's accident. Lachna left bridges and cut off all contact with us. I don't know what happened between them. But if we don't bring Lachna around, our plans to make America whole again are finished. Not that I'm asking you to stick your nose in their personal business. Though if you did, it might help us figure out how to bring Lachna around. Which would be great because our plans to make America whole again are finished without her. In the meantime, if you've got any bright ideas, feel free to give them a shot. Good work.
So, where do you want to go? Close your eyes. Picture it in your mind's eye. Give my body his present too. Won't be needing this anymore. I'm done fighting. You're all that matters to me now, so I'm gonna stay right here with you. My friend will know what to do with this one. Well, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> hmm. Sam, thanks for coming back. Got something for you. These are your new cufflinks. They still work as a terminal, but I've added a weapon function. I was able to redesign everything from the ground up after the last connection. And they're weapons too now. That's right. Cord cutters. I should explain. BTs are connected to the other side via umbilical cords, right? When those cords bring the matter of our world into contact with the antimatter of theirs, boom, void off. But just as Dead Man theorized, your blood does have unique properties. It can be used to cut a BT's cord. So I've added that function. Cut the cord of the BT and it returns to the world of the dead. No BT, no void out. Win win. These things can cut them loose. If you can get close enough without them noticing, yes. Cord snipping, super handcuffs. Right. 
Let's try them out. Cut the cord connecting us. She's sound asleep. I made sure she got plenty of milk. Just do it. Please, Sam. Set us free. This world was never hers, but all the same, I didn't want her to leave it. Even though she's already lost. Truth is, she's not really my daughter. The attack and everything, that was all a lie? No. That part was true. My ovaries can't produce eggs, and Lachna has trouble with her uterus. Long story short, neither of us can have children. I was all right with it. I mean, <laughs> children, who needs them, I thought. But my sister thought differently. Lachna wanted a child, someone to carry her genes. She fell in love with another member of Bridges, but he died in an accident. She was devastated, of course, as was I. Back then, strong emotions like that, I could feel hers and she could feel mine. When I sensed her desire to join him, to end it, I went to her and said, let's have a baby. We took one of Lachna's eggs and fertilized it with his frozen sperm and I carried it to term. A healthy baby grew inside of me. But then there was the attack and our bond was severed. I wanted to tell her, but I was bound to the child. I couldn't just abandon her, but I was wrong. Lachna needs to know. You have to break some ties to forge others. Keep me tied to everything. If we're going to reconnect the world, I need to reconnect with my sister first. Please, Sam. Do it. Sam, would you set me up? I haven't been outside in a long time. It's just too much to take in all at once. Are you sure? I thought you might be claustrophobic after your time in the rubble. I'll be fine, so long as I can see out of the bag. The warmth of the light. Touch of the wind, the scent of the world.
Lucky you. Two of you are still connected. Okay, Sam. Let's go. Surprise prepped in everything. But it looks to me like your hands are full. <laughs> it's no biggie. We can always tweak the rules a bit. Sam? The hospital I was staying at was crushed by a bridge. Still have nightmares about it. Still hear the crack before it all came tumbling down. I've been scared to death of bridges ever since. And, yeah. I know how that must sound considering our employer. <sighs> 
I'm scared of the dark, dude. Don't sleep anymore. Can't. Hey, Sam. Do you remember your own birth? Mm. I remember being inside the room. I wasn't alone. I could hear my mother's heartbeat. Hers. And Loch Ness. We were conjoined twins. One and the same before we were born. But then they tried to separate us. The surgery. The operation was successful. We were still alone. We knew each other's thoughts without saying a word. My joy was her joy. Her pain was my pain. And no distance was too great for us to overcome. Some might call it a kind of telepathy. Divided in body, joined in spirit. We had each just for us when we shared our own private chiral network, you might say. With cupids, we can build one that will let everyone share what Lachlan and I have. I saw it all laid out before me after I signed up for the teas. A network that could unite everyone, no matter how scattered or different. That would make us whole. It wouldn't be about bringing people into line. It would be about bringing them into the fold, where they would share and share alike. I knew it could change the world. One way to help, we finalized the Cupid design. But after the attack and the birth, everything changed. For the first time in my life, Wachna wasn't there. But I'm not alone anymore. I can feel her again. She's close. Thank you, Sam. I feel whole again. You and me, sis. Me and you. Sorry, Lachna. Decontaminating suit. All clear. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. <laughs> to save her. I couldn't. You don't have to say any more. Lockman. You need to fix his cupid. I couldn't save our child, but you can save our world. 
Only you. I love you. You hear me? Forever. And always. Make the world whole, okay? Just like you make me. All that she went through, I had no idea. I thought, I thought she'd severed our bond on purpose, that she stole our child and ran. I fixed your cupid like she asked. Limiters should be functioning properly now. There is one thing. Before I sat down to work, I took a long, hard look at the code. I'm pretty sure someone's tweaked it. Either that, or my memory's going to pieces. Someone rewrote your code? Rewrote might be overstating it. Let's just say it wasn't the latest version I released. And yet, because of it, I was finally reunited with Malingan. Could be we found our culprit already. She died beneath the rubble, with our child still inside her. Her car passed over to the other side, but her hall remained bound to our dead daughter. She knew all of this, of course. That's why she kept one cough loose. Didn't want anyone seeing her vitals. Shame she couldn't use her favorite invention. She did all that to keep me and our daughter safe. Sis? I can hear you. We're whole again. We're, We're one. one. Like before in the womb, remember? Lincoln. Akna.
Thanks to you, Edgenot City is finally within reach. And you, Lachna. Your work will help ensure that the Chiron Network remains online. Together, we might just make it all the way west. Now then, Sam. There's something else you ought to know. We've been studying the data from when you claim you encountered those soldiers. We had audio which doesn't paint a complete picture on its own, but... The languages, the names, and terms we picked out. The munitions we could identify. Everything seems to indicate that you were on a battlefield over a hundred years ago. World War I, to be precise. It wasn't a dream. Wasn't a hallucination. Maybe you were spirited away to another dimension or something. And given the time discrepancies, maybe you were sent to a beach. Can't say anything for certain. That said, I... I've never heard of a beach turned into a battlefield. But beaches are shaped by the will of the people who inhabit them. Perhaps Hartman can offer a more rational explanation. Beaches are his specialty. Unfortunately, he's still outside the Cairo network. Anyway, get some rest. No use dwelling on questions we can't answer yet. Thank you for your generosity.